Welcome to the Kara Michelle Show, where we break out of the matrix together and return heaven to earth. This is a place for the spiritual seekers and leaders, the dreamers and doers, the conscious creators and world changers. You can expect a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but mostly a whole lot of purpose, freedom, and sovereignty. And of course, all things quantum. May this podcast serve you in remembering the truth of who you are, all that you came here to do, and how deeply supported you are in doing it. You are incredibly powerful and your mission is protected. So it's time to dial up your frequency and recalibrate to your higher self and limitless potential. Get ready, because we're about to blast off. A new reality awaits you on the other side. I'll see you there. If you are trying to manifest more money in your life or reach a new income goal, I can guarantee it's not going to come by focusing on the physical world only. And this is exactly where so many people get hung up because they think that they need to do more or try harder or force things or hustle, all these different external forces, all these physical actions, when the fact of the matter is, you are an energetic being having a human experience. So the energetic alignment is actually the greatest catalyst and the greatest uh, magnetizer that's going to bring things into your reality that you desire. So the energetic, the emotional, and the beliefs, the mental, is actually more important to get on board first. And I'm going to be sharing the exact example of when I manifested my first 10k month ever, specifically by using identity shifting. So at the time when I started doing this, I was fluctuating anywhere from $1,000 to maybe the highest was 7,000, but that only happened once and then it dropped back down. And I was trying so hard to hit those $10,000 months, but nothing was working. And I mean, like I was trying all the things. I was hiring a marketing team. I was running Facebook ads to bring traffic in. I had a salesperson. I had all the things that I thought at the time were what were was necessary, were what was necessary to get me to the goal and to help be that physical foundation But not only were those things incredibly out of alignment and (laughs) freaking burned my business to the ground, like everything collapsed. It was horribly traumatic the way things played out at that time of my life. I ended up moving back to my mom's basement with the most debt I'd ever had, just feeling so embarrassed and ashamed of the disaster that I had created by trying so hard to make this work. And not only that, but I had no money to show for it and no consistent income coming in. So at the beginning of this story that I'm about to share with you around how I shifted my identity to become, you know, the woman who has 10K months in her coaching business, which by the way, you can apply in any business or even if you're employed by someone else, which I'll get into, I'll try to remember that at some point. (laughs) If not, we'll talk about it in the future. But at that point, I was really at one of the lower points, I would say, in my business. Now, leading into the big identity shift that took place, I did end up manifesting a contracting job where I was doing coaching for someone else in his business. So he was bringing in the clients, He was then paying me and it felt like I had a little bit of a security blanket where I was making two to three thousand dollars a month working for him. And then anything in my coaching business was like a bonus and it was like icing on the cake. It allowed me to pay off an eighteen thousand dollar credit card while living in Los Angeles in a beach house and truly starting to step into a big new chapter in my life. But the biggest keys that came into play with the identity shifting was not only the way that I saw myself and the beliefs that I had, 
but then the aligned actions that I took from that place. <clears throat> so typically, as I mentioned, we get into this habit of trying to force from our current identity. And so where you're at right now, this version of you who's listening to this, you are at a certain set point with your income, with what is comfortable, what is known for you, what is expected. And this is probably partly, maybe deeply ingrained in your current identity. So my current identity at that time was very much the identity of my business is unsuccessful and unstable, it's not reliable, <laughs> it's not predictable, and I'm relying on two to three thousand dollars from this other coach. And so my identity in terms of my money story and what I was energetically available for, what I was energetically aligned to, was like two thousand, three thousand, maybe five thousand dollar months but not believing that those were consistent. <clears throat> Giving that as an example, you can probably imagine how the confidence I had around a 10K month, for example, which I wanted to call in at that time, the confidence was lacking because I hadn't ever done it. I had struggled to be consistent with a lower amount. I didn't have physical, tangible proof that it was possible for me. And... I was yet trying to create it. So the thing that took place and where the alchemy came in was that I had to become the 10K a month Kara. I had to shift my identity into that future version of me before it even happened. Instead of continuing to wait and force and hustle and act from my lower level of consciousness from the two to three K consciousness of Kara, who would have very different ways in which she reacts to life, in which she views money, in which she views herself, her business. Do you get what I'm saying here? We're looking at like two different identities and we've got multiple if we wanna keep scaling and say like $100,000 a month Kara, what would her consciousness be? How would she show up in the world? What would she believe is possible for her? How deeply would she trust money if she were making that amount every single month and knew it was always there? These are very different identities, very different versions of me. And therefore, the beliefs, the thoughts, the actions, the habits would all be different as well to match that. So two to three K, <laughs> I like these names for them, two to three K Kara she still had a lot of lack and scarcity. She didn't fully trust money because of the mistakes that I had made, the debt I had just been struggling through, the instability in my own business, right? But I knew that more was possible and I'm very determined and I wanted to try to get there and I knew I could, but I knew it wasn't gonna come from more force and more action because I had seen how poorly that worked out in the past. So I realized that in order to get to that next stage, I needed to think differently about how money was, how it worked for me, how easy it was to attract, how it actually came through fun and flow instead of force and hustle and stress. So all these different shifts had to take place internally which as you can imagine, then shifted the way that I started to show up in the world and the decisions that I would make, the investments I would make, the things I would say no or the things I would say yes to, all came in accordance with a future version of me before the money even came in to uh, solidify that or truly represent that. So before I hit the first ever 10K month, I made one of the scariest choices in my life at that time to sign up <laughs> or sign up. I don't know if that's the right word to move into a new room in the beach house I was staying in, in Los Angeles. I had spent six months, I think, no, three months, six months. I had spent six months sharing a room and already was stretching 
what was comfortable for me in terms of my rent each month because I had been very blessed with like really cool setups and I travel a lot and tend to go to places that are really affordable and so my ability to live quite nicely on a small amount of money was something that was natural to me and then living down in Los Angeles and paying more and then still needing to cover my food or my other things it was like a big stretch for me at the time so two to three k (laughs) Kara she was a little bit intimidated by what was going on but she was working for someone else she knew that she could take in extra clients if needed and she had that kind of so-called safety net around income but this turning point came where i realized energetically so much was off by staying in that environment i wasn't sleeping very well i was sharing a room i was exhausted there were a lot of just different dynamics where i was that weren't conducive and obviously not a vibrational match for the version of me who was making $10,000 a month. $10,000 Kara wouldn't be sharing a room with someone. <laughs> $10,000 a month Kara wouldn't be stressing about money. $10,000 a month Kara wouldn't be, you know, being super cheap when it comes to getting a nice meal or treating herself or doing something fun because she would be in a greater state of abundance. And so I had this realization of I can continue to operate from this current state of consciousness of where I'm at, but that means I'm going to continue to create and attract more of the same because I'm going to be doing the same things. So law of attraction, cause and effect, there's no way for anything new to come in and meet me in my reality. There's no way for anything new to come in and meet me in my reality. And that became the choice of this beautiful room opened up in the same house, but it was about double the price, closer to 3000 US a month. And I'm from Canada, so that's like 4000 Canadian. And it wasn't quite that much, but like 3500 Canadian or something, which still for one room, like I could probably get a pretty nice place in Canada for that and have like a house or like way more space but we had this beautiful house on the beach and everything so it was totally worth it my point being that the stretch and that leap to say yes to a room that I currently didn't have enough money to afford and I currently wasn't bringing in that much and bear in mind, I had just finally paid off $18,000 on one of my credit cards. I still had money on another credit card. So I wasn't necessarily in overflow by any means. But I knew that having that space would be more conducive of or like a better environment for what I was calling in. I remember tuning in to the queen archetype at that point, which was really big at that chapter in my life in terms of empowerment and believing I was worthy and deserving of better things and really wanting to elevate the way I saw myself and the way that I showed up in the world. And I tuned into this queen energy and this room was like the queen's room you know it just was so beautiful it had a tiny bit of ocean view these really stunning white walls and stone walls and like an area for the desk I don't know I don't want to describe the room (laughs) because as I'm picturing it I'm like I don't even know how to describe it other than like it had four walls and there was a fireplace (laughs) And can you imagine it had a window? (laughs) Like when I describe it, it doesn't sound nearly as beautiful as it looked and as it felt. So point being, it was this stunning room. And I knew that if I were in that room, I would feel like a freaking boss. I would feel like a queen. I would feel so deeply supported. And I would have the space to anchor in and to really ground in more of these abundance codes, more of these new energies, 
more of this belief of like, hey, I'm successful in my business. I'm making $10,000 a month. So it's easy for me to pay, you know, 2000 something or like $3,000 a month in rent because I still have so much overflow that's coming in. There's no fear. There's no panic. And there was this energetic shift that took place when I tuned into that vibration where I was like, oh, this is exactly what I need to do to stretch and move forward. So this is where the major parts of the identity shift came in because I said yes to something that on paper actually (laughs) probably would have been a no to most people and would have made very little sense to most people. But I said yes, and I knew I had enough to pay for that first month of rent. And I just trusted fully that I was like, me moving into this space is going to activate my first $10,000 month in my business. And I'm really determined that it's going to happen super easily (laughs) because I'm pretty tired and I don't want to work super hard. I just want to attract in the right people I can help or the right opportunities and be in my element and be so deeply cared for and supported by this room, by this space, that I can be of greater service. And here was a key shift that helped tackle any potential unworthiness because that tends to come up. So take note, my friend, (laughs) is like if you start to feel a a limiting belief or a self-doubt or an unworthiness around, oh, but I don't deserve that, It's the reminder that, firstly, we all deserve it. You have a beautiful heart. You're a loving being. You're doing the best that you can. Of course, you deserve nice things. So just like mentioning that. But secondly, when you're supported, you can do more good. And I'm a really firm believer that we cannot serve the world when we are stressed, when we are burnt out, when we are drained or bitter or hurting which is why I'm such a huge advocate of the inner healing work, because as you heal yourself and you find your own inner freedom, you're able to overflow that and pour that out into the world in ways that you could not do if you hadn't prioritized yourself first. And I actually talk about this a ton in my free masterclass that I just made. So you can check that out if you want more, because this belief shift has been crucial in all areas of my life because you know we're taught very deeply to put everyone else first and prioritize everyone else and then when we're absolutely drained with nothing left in our cup and you're like struggling to get by then you call in sick and take care of yourself or then you set a boundary and prioritize yourself for a day and like that is not okay with me because that doesn't benefit anyone. So when we take uh, (laughs) a little blue jay is confirming and agreeing, when we take care of ourselves first, we can then show up from a way more elevated space that doesn't drain us and benefits everyone else around us. So the particular belief shift that helped with this new identity for me was that The 10K months wasn't selfish. The 10K months wasn't anything to do with other than, and even having that room, like having this beautiful room, like who am I to have this nice space? Who am I to deserve that? Who am I to pay this much or think that I should be here? All these limiting, really, really limiting stories came into play. But the shift that helped me was knowing that I actually can do so much more from this space because I'm going to have so much more energy and I'm going to feel way more revitalized and alive. And I can tell you that just simply moving into that space and elevating into that and taking care of myself helped not only with huge amounts of healing that then brought in countless quantum leaps, but that is truly what happened is within a couple weeks of being in that room, I just kept holding the frequency of like, this is where I would be living if I were making 10k a month. So since I'm living here, the 10k has to happen. (laughs) Like, if I just hold this and know that it's here, 
I'm kind of reverse engineering and really, really holding the faith, holding this identity until it materializes. And I wouldn't be working extra hard and forcing or scared that it's going to happen because it's just a natural part of who I am. So it's already happening somehow. And I get to just follow the impulse and create from here. And I ended up manifesting multiple people who reached out. I don't even know where they came from. I think someone was from Instagram. Someone was from an email list. Someone was like a referral. But I had different people reach out, pay me in full for different coaching packages. I had the coaching clients from the business coach that I was contracting for, my two to three K Kara. (laughs) She was still there in terms of that service that I was offering and I was receiving for. But the remaining of that 10K came in with so much ease and so much grace. Because I shifted into the version of me where that was just normal and that was just how reality worked. So I really want to invite you to look at how differently would you be showing up in the world if you already had the thing that matched that. So if you already had that next income goal or the money that you're calling in, I've had clients who are like, I really, really need to manifest $2,000 for this thing. And so we focus on, well, what's the version of you who already has that, has already paid for this thing, and they're, you know, excited, they're relieved, there's no stress, they just get to be in the present moment, they're fully, deeply trusting themselves and a higher power, they're taking the aligned action, like the whole version of you and your whole concept of reality shifts when you step into that higher frequency or that next level chapter of you. So I invite you, regardless of if you're self-employed or regardless of if you're working for someone else, just start playing with this because your mind is going to try to come up with resistance. Even as I mentioned, my mind tried to come up with a lot of limiting beliefs, a lot of reasons why I didn't deserve it or it couldn't happen, but there was a part of my soul, (laughs) thank God for that, that was like, this is happening and I fully believe it. So anything that isn't aligned with this reality is not getting any power. I'm not giving those doubts the power. Maybe I'm doing some healing and shadow work around them and releasing and finding the root cause and all the different things I teach inside my programs. Maybe I'm doing some of that, but I'm not giving them power to control or dictate my reality. I'm just really holding this new frequency of this is how life works for me. This is how it gets to show up. This is how I get to be in each moment. And the corresponding reality has to come in when we're doing those things. So you don't need to know how, you don't need to know if it's going to be a promotion at your job, if it's going to be a new job that you're really wanting. You don't need to fixate on the specific outcome or fixate on the pathway, the avenue that's going to get you there, right? I didn't think about any of that. I wasn't attached to the money has to come in this way. And if it doesn't, well, it's not coming in. (laughs) There was no attachment. I was fully in this state of flow and trusting and just deep knowing of this is the reality I'm stepping into. And therefore, this is how things work for me here. And I promise you, you will start to notice really big shifts when you do that and when you change that frequency. And I went on to have I think maybe three 10K months in a row, at least two. And then I took a pause on my business because I realized I don't want to be working for someone else. I want to realign things my own way. And new chapters began in that, in that direction. But every single time in my life where I'm stepping into a new income or a new desired amount of money that I'm wanting to bring in or 
even just a new chapter of any kind it's always about shifting my identity because my current self is clearly not a vibrational match for it or else i'd already have it <laughs> my current self is a reflection of the current reality the future reality that i desire that version of me is very different so reverse engineer become them now do everything you need to to clean up areas of your life that are keeping you stuck in the old self and align with that new self and you will watch as things start to fall into place to assist you in these shifts but it doesn't come from force so let go of the need to hustle and think that you have to control it all in the 3d or that you have to work harder to achieve it or to receive it it comes from the alignment it comes from how you think and how you see yourself if you see yourself as someone who's always going to struggle with money and is never going to have enough you will create that and you will manifest bills i've been that person <laughs> every time the money comes in i manifest a bill for almost the exact amount and it's like how did this happen but because I was so in the vibration of this is how things work for me. And even when I didn't maybe manifest something else and it was a limitation from the current career, my job only paid me a certain amount. So I just believed that that's, that's my cap. That's where I'm stuck. Money doesn't work in abundance. I can't manifest more because this is what my boss pays me each day. Well, when I had those beliefs, I was very closed off to other opportunities, other income streams, other potential ways of making money, ways that I could ask for a raise, all the different timelines, we could call them, that could have opened up. So if you start to open yourself to seeing things differently and realizing that you don't need to control the how, you just need to know who you're being, I'm going to be. 10k Kara. <laughs> I'm going to be this amount a month. And I'm going to be super excited to see which ways it shows up for me. But I know that this is what I'm setting a new standard for. This is what I'm calling in. This is how I'm going to operate. And I'm really open to the ways it can show up. And I'm really open to the other avenues or the income streams or all the things. But I'm shifting and I'm in that openness, that willingness to receive in new ways. And so a higher power can bring them in. And you can start to build your confidence, your faith, your self-trust as you go. So I'm going to leave you with that and just really get clear. Who is it that you're wanting to step into? The version of you who already has it. Start being them now. And if you want more assistance with that, like I said, I talk about a lot of the different limiting beliefs and belief shifting in my free masterclass. And I also have courses with quantum healing hypnosis, with subconscious reprogramming, identity shifting, all of that right in there for you to help you make major, major changes to your subconscious beliefs and your energetic signature that aligns you with a higher energetic frequency you know my current energetic maximum of two to three thousand dollars a month i had to expand that and i did when i was in that room i started doing deeper deeper energetic work around the 10k month as my minimum my new baseline jumped my baseline of two to three k months was gone and i started to program in the identity of the 10k a month baseline and this is how she would think act operate and how her understanding of life and the laws and law of attraction all those things would correspond with her so get super clear on that and start becoming them now and feel free to check out the different resources and courses if you want assistance in getting there faster and I will see you very soon on the next episode.